You know, getting dressed up in costumes and wearing masquerade outfits is kind of fun and it's interesting for, you know, Halloween and maybe Mardi Gras. But when it comes to a professional environment or your business, people impersonating or doing hoaxes, presenting themselves as someone that they're not, actually isn't funny at all. In a malicious cracker, if they're going to do impersonation or masquerading, which is really part of social engineering, it's going to involve some preparation and some prior reconnaissance and information gathering before they attempt the exploit. And impersonation is often a key factor. Masquerading is first attempted remotely through IP spoofing and then possibly over the phone, maybe using email, SMS texting, instant messaging, and then if none of those things get information that they need, they'll do it in person, if the payoff from getting your data and your information is worth it. The attacker can then obtain records about an organization, your marketing plans, your corporate secrets, your formulas, information about your employees, your customers, PII, and other critical data. If a cracker is going to do social engineering and they're going to pose as some other person, what are some of the options they have? Well, they can masquerade as a janitor or a cleaning service, a pest control company. They can be a fire inspector or a building inspector. They may pose as a temporary or contract worker. They may even position themselves as a security professional coming in doing a penetration test or an audit. They may masquerade as a newly hired employee or a relative of somebody in management. As a matter of fact, use your imagination and think if you were a cracker, what type of hoax or masquerade would you take on to trick somebody into getting inside to get access to a system? Employees should be well trained through security awareness programs to always be on the lookout for impersonators. Always politely ask for identification or authorization, like a guest badge or a card, if they notice somebody that seems like they just don't belong there. Policy may state that employees don't confront suspects, but instead escalate suspicious people to a supervisor, a security guard, or the security team. A hoax is very similar in that the attacker tries to mislead people by presenting a false scenario. Hoaxes can come in person or through other means of communication, like texting and email. A hoax will often be attempted on holidays or other special days during major events, like the U.S. Super Bowl or the World Cup or the Olympics. For example, Chain email messages are intended to trick, mislead, or scare recipients into forwarding the messages to many more recipients. In this video, we talked about the impersonation and hoaxing aspect of social engineering. 